You guys are the very first thing I filmed with my new camera. How does that make you feel? I'm not so impressed. I think he's pretty neat. It's a GoPro, new GoPro. And we can film with this wide angle, which is pretty neat. At 120 frames per second, it's pretty, at 2.7K. If I want to do 4K, I can do 60 frames per second. That is pretty neat. Hey, Diesel? How does it feel, Diesel? How does it feel being the very first thing ever to be recorded? Ever! <laughs> so today is Monday. It's actually a holiday here in Manitoba. And Britt and I are getting ready to head out to Birds Hill. I believe we're going to go on a hike and do some walking, get active today. Look, are you dancing? Meters don't hike. Although you are part goat. Do so you think he's going hiking with us? Right. All right, let's go. This way. Are you coming? They're going hiking. Meter, come here. He thinks we're celebrating his pup anniversary. Your gotcha day? It's 11 years gotcha day, yes. Exactly 11 years ago today. You get to nap. And Wiener likes to remind me with those eyes that he's uh, had her longer than I have. <laughs> Happy gotcha day, buddy. Okay, so where are we going? The hill of the birds? The bird, bird something? Stop trying to lick my face. Just can't help himself. I have the same problem. Yeah, he doesn't kiss like a normal husband, he licks. Whoa, why did this thing just turn off on me again? Highlight, <laughs> oh no, it's still recording. <laughs> You're still recording. <laughs> I know, I'm excited too. I was afraid that my, my new camera was messing up like my old camera. The screen just turned off, probably to save battery. Thought you guys left me. <sighs> Don't do that to me, it scares me. All the attention has to be on you, huh? Yeah. Your screensaver was set for one minute. That's why the screen went blank and I panicked. I turned that off. I like being able to see what I'm filming. <laughs> Especially when it's you. I don't blame you. Look at this. <laughs> We're going hiking. We got sunscreen. We got water. We have a hat. We got wiener. Spray. We have a wiener, but wiener, you're going to stay here. You're going to nap for your pup anniversary. Dad, we're going hiking. I want to pretend like I like you to make mommy happy. <laughs> He's very excited today. He knows when it's special occasions. If I say happy birthday or happy gotcha day or Merry Christmas. <gasps> he really goes nuts. Presents! He actually really likes opening presents. <laughs> Tell him, Wiener. Tell her. Would a carrot make you happy? Carrot? Would that, would that be a good gift for Gotcha Day? You sit nice. Everybody sit. I'm trying to avoid all the commotion, but you got carrots. Well, Diesel, you, you have to sit. sit. Nice. Diesel, you have to sit. Okay, well. There you go. A little bit thick for you, so. Oh, gourmet treats, the best kind. Absolutely. Nothing but the best. Oh, yummy, handsome, yummy. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Big Frank's just shaking. Shaking my mind. She's getting another. She's getting another. Here she comes. Oh, 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 oh good. <laughs> Our dogs go crazy for carrots. Fruits and vegetables and yogurt. Bunch of rabbits over here. Bunnies. The only kind I'm not allergic to. Chevy, I'm putting you in charge, okay? Don't tell Wiener. Oh, he's right there. You're in charge, okay? You make sure everything runs smoothly. What do you want? He's convinced he's coming. I hate that he's so smart and he knows when I'm leaving. Okay, I'm going with you. There's no option. I am slowly documenting my transition. <laughs> From Timmy's to Starbucks. Because the service is just so much more amazing. Uh -huh. I mean, 
the Timmy's people, they're, they're, they're friendly and nice, but you know, they, they get you your stuff, but it's just the, the above and beyond friendliness of the people at Starbucks here that sort of gets me. They're very friendly. Unfortunately, the Tim Hortons in Steinbeck don't maintain the same standard that we had at the location that I worked at in Winnipeg. And the lineups are so ridiculously long at Tim's all the time. And people just block the street. They'll just line up on the street and block all directions of traffic waiting to get into Tim's. And it takes forever and I get so frustrated, I'm, I'm so sick of it. I started coming to Starbucks and I actually got really good coffee, you know? It's a little it's pricier, but... A little pricier, but it actually tastes like coffee. You don't have to add an espresso shot into it for it to taste like coffee. And then you end up paying the same amount anyway. Mm. So Starbucks also gives these little things in their lids here so that it doesn't spill. Unlike the new Timmy's lids, you can't keep the coffee in the cup. It goes all over your cup holders, all over your pants, your shirt. It's constantly leaking. They even have better cups at Starbucks. Starbucks lids even seal. Timmy's don't. They spill all over you. Yesterday morning on my way into the mall, opening the store, got coffee all down my shirt. Hmm. I always spill it too. And in my pickup truck, my center console is all filled with just, it's always, I always have to wipe it down. It's not like coffee stains. So it's not really sticky. stains, but it's always sticky. It's always Timmy's coffee. It always goes everywhere, but uh, you know, it's been a long transition and a long conversion. We realize we need to be more open-minded to things. We're slowly being humbled this year. Yeah, I've, I've become much more open-minded in many areas of life. Me too. Like. There is a Starbucks in the center console that I'm gonna drink. That's huge. <laughs> That's huge. Things are changing. Absolutely. All right. We're gonna be doing the Chickadee Trail, which is, I think, three and a half kilometers. So we're right here in the park. We're in Bird Sale Park. It goes up and around there. Oh yeah, no, it's four kilometers right here. That's pretty cool. Here we go. Be bear smart. Smart as a bear. In case you're looking for men. There's always somebody that's gotta graffiti the signs. So nature walk, did you look at what when which ones we're supposed to follow? White. White? Yeah. White, white, white signs? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Look, I got a backpack and everything. We're we're serious. We're hiking. We're we're adventurers. We're outdoors people. Yeah. Are you sure that's not the red ones? Because the red one is chickadee, see? But it said white. I'm pretty sure it said red when I read it. Okay. It says chickadee here. It says chickadee. We can read. These are the signs we gotta follow. It's got a little chickadee on it. This way. Okay. Don't trip. I didn't bring any band-aids. Who needs band-aids? We're hardcore. We're... Exactly. We didn't even bring hand sanitizer. Nope. Hardcore. We left our masks in the car. I didn't. I brought mine. Of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. There might be an ice cream shop along the way. I want to go in and get some ice cream. Here we go. It's official. We're trailing. We're, look at us go. That's exactly how you should hike. Spirit. Shake your head a little bit. This is how the, the professionals do it, right? Right. <laughs> oh, look at the little bird leaves. The little chickadees. This is the chicken trail. There are tour guides. There's a shed over here. It, looks, it might be an ice cream shop. Doubtful. Might also be where we get murdered. Might be. We're gonna go check it out. 
Definitely. Ooh, oh, look at all that wood. This must be one of those uh, warm up shacks because people go cross country skiing here and snowshoeing in wintertime. Ski at your own risk. Yeah. And then I've seen these before. You can go in there and there's a wood stove and they got a fire going all day and you can warm up. Is that ever neat? I've never heard of that. Hmm. Very cool. I wonder if you can go in there and show everybody what this facility is closed due to public health orders. Okay, well, well then I guess I shouldn't take you guys in there and break the health orders on camera. Right. Off camera is a different story. We'll just tell you what it looks like. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And up here they got a, a look at, oh, let's go up there. High and dry. What does this say? This says, Oh, these are the different trails. Chickadee, that's the one we're on. Blue stem. Blue stem. So our trail goes down there. Very cool. Yeah. She's going to grab it. Oh, Instagram. Instagram that. Absolutely. What does this say? High and dry. Sorry. <laughs> it, in your way. it says, since the early 1800s, Bird's Hill has served as a refuge for people living in the flood-prone Red River Valley. When the river flooded in 1826, and 1852, Indians, Métis, fur traders, and settlers found safety on the high ground here. In 1967, part of the hill was officially designated as Birds Hill Provincial Park. This park still serves as a refuge, but of a different kind, for recreation, relaxation, and the enjoyment of nature. Amen. Well, yeah, we have uh, the floodway that goes around Winnipeg right now, protecting it from floods. When it was built, it was the largest earth-moving project Ever in the history of mankind. You can double check that if you want. <laughs> Let's not fall up the stairs though. Don't do that. <laughs> well, good to see people have taken good care of it. And everybody has written their names and uh, life stories in here. I mean, I'm cool with that as long as there's no profanity or rudeness. Yeah. And this is Bird's Eye View created by a glacier which began to melt here more than 11,000 years ago. This hill is about 30 meters higher than the surrounding prairie and is one of the highest elevations within a 30 kilometer radius. The orientation map identifies some landmarks, including the Richardson Building, downtown Winnipeg, and to the north, the Water Tower in Selkirk. Neat. Cool. It's a little, little leafy right now can't quite see those things yeah the trees have they need a higher watchtower or bird's eye view but... oh that's pretty cool a little bit of manitoba history for you we're learning too huh. 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 Don't fall. i'm not catching you it's just stairs are really wobbly they make me nervous yeah, a little rickety. <laughs> so dirty and we only just started i don't know how did i get so sweaty and we just started well <sighs> that's because you and i are both out of shape <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty cool huh. hey. what's down there i'm taking this way this is uh i guess the harder path that's the easy path for beginners. I'm not a beginner. I don't care what you say. It's a little narrow here. There we go. Made it. Nice. Okay, so we're following Chickadee, the red one. Arrow this way. Follow the red one.
I think we're done. Mm, oh yeah, no, I maybe think not. We're just back at that road. Oh, that one road that goes because we went in a loop. So we're over halfway done for sure. Yeah, we were halfway done before, and then we turned around. Now we're coming back south. Yeah, because we're coming across that road, and we're like, why does it have a speed limit on it? It's not wide enough for cars. Service road or something. Yeah, it had a speed limit sign on it. It should be right over here. Oh, no. Oh, it's right here. Yeah. Ha! Huh, because we crossed the road right up there. Yeah. And it says 30 kilometers an hour there, and we're like, what, what kind of road is this? I can't walk that fast. <laughs> Who walks that fast? <laughs> okay, so we're getting there. We're getting close. You know, I thought you were going to jump over the rock. <laughs> can't even step that high, man. You want a picture? Okay. Yeah. On the rock or yeah. by the rock or with both of us? Sure. Both of us, okay. Are you guys going to take it for us? Here, let's put these guys over here. One second. Okay. All right. Picture. Or which way are we gonna do? The sun's coming from there, so this way. Sure. Where are you gonna? I'm gonna sit on the rock. Oh, you're gonna sit on the rock. One second. You guys are looking the wrong way. Here, Jeez. turn yourselves. Oh my gosh, my carpal tunnel. Okay. okay. On the rock. Pictures. Oh, oh, oh! My butt's so sore from being on the motorcycle. Oh. Okay. okay, but you got longer arms, so you got to take it. Okay. Okay. Ouch. Oh. <laughs> Is that clinging to you too hard? I don't want to fall off. Okay. Wait, yeah. Where's the camera? There it is. Temptation. <laughs> oh, my tailbone hurts from sitting on that motorcycle seat all day yesterday. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That's why the speed limit signs. Oh, it's for the motorized scooters. <laughs> Oh. oh, here we go. That's a good one. That's a good one, too. Oh, yeah. Nice. Awesome. Proof. Photo there. evidence. Yeah. We did something physical. Now I don't know how I'm going to get down. Okay. Feel yeah. like a mermaid. You sort of got to slide up. A mermaid. Okay. Oh. 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 With chubby little legs. <laughs> we really need to do this more often. Like every other day. Every other day. I yeah. still don't think we'd be in shape. <laughs> okay, here's the end. We think. We think. Well, there's the sign. I'm pretty sure that sign says exit. Let's see, let's see. And yep. Exit. And there's the enter sign where we started. We did it. We didn't even really stop for a break. Well, I did get stuck on that rock for a minute or two. Oh, that's right. We saw for a picture. We went in there all the way around to here. It's four kilometers. Or, or something. Three, two point seven miles or something. Okay. <sighs> yep. So we did it, four kilometers. It's not that big of a hike. It's usually about the length of, length of a walk I would go when I was on the highway over the road. I usually go on about a four kilometer walk and I tried to do that every day. Remember that in 2017? Uh, when I was trying to get in shape for our wedding and it worked. I lost what, like 30 pounds that year or something? I gained it all back already, but uh, that's the, uh, that's about the distance that I went. It's a hot day today though, I think it was 30 degrees. Let's check. Okay, oh, I got this right here. 3.96 kilometers is what my phone is telling me it was. So almost four. How do you feel? Dirty. Dirty. <laughs> How did I get dirt up there? You're talented. Nice clean car. All right. Woo! We did it. Well, I guess this area here is going to be the next thing I have to redo. Probably redo that next year. I think one deck is enough for one year. There she is.
made it home. We're going out on a hot date. Santa Lucia. Is that at the airport or where is that this time? Uh, the golf course. At the golf course. By Close e to the airport. E yeah. Penner Park? Is that the one? I think so. I don't know. Yeah, we're going on a gate. I can't wait. Can't wait. Dad's going to get me pizza. He put on cologne and everything. I know I did. I smell good right now. Oh, I mean the dog. Oh, he did oh, too? Kiss his head and he smells just like you. <laughs> you Diesel, must come here. him a hug after you put it on. Come here. You. You are wearing cologne. Are you going out on a hot date? Is Lucy in town? I didn't think she could cross the border yet. Jeez, oh, did you sneak her in? You got a date? All right, well, mom and dad are going on a date and apparently Diesel's got a date himself. Makes sense, he's a pretty distinguished gentleman. You smell great, buddy. She's very proud of her tomatoes. They All really? seven of them. Hey, there's like a dozen on here now. They were very late. We expected them to come in a lot sooner. $17 plant, most expensive tomatoes I've ever bought. <laughs> Jeez. They better be delicious. They better be. This one's got a funny growth on it. Duh. I don't know what to think about it. Got an extra thumb. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's the restaurant right at the golf course. They've got really, really good pizza. It's a little bit pricey, but it's really, really good. So we want to be on the patio, but there's a little bit of a wait. It's about a half hour wait. So they took her phone number and as soon as the spot opens up, they'll give us a call. So until then, uh, well, we could Wander around. This is the Steinbeck pool over here, the aquatic center. AD Penner Park is just on the other side of it over there. Yeah, we could go for another walk. I guess so. <laughs> as long as we don't get too sweaty. I just showered up. I'm smelling good right now. We'll make it a slow walk. Okay. Slow. We won't power through this one. Just a saunter. A saunter, yes. We'll go for a light saunter. Solid. And we'll judge the golfers. Are we allowed to walk through here? I don't know. Probably not. Down here we are. That's probably the golf course, but down here we probably are. So we came from down over there. I was just telling Britt I'd actually like to have, a, I don't know if you need a membership or if you just pay per time that you come here and uh, you can swim, just swim laps. It's the best full body workout you can do. Easiest on the joints too. Mm -hmm. Don't deteriorate your knees and your hips and your shoulders. It's actually a pretty nice pool in here. Yeah, it is. I think I've been there a couple of times. I was a lot younger though. It was when the pool was brand new, I think. Came from way out there. We found a swamp. We never even knew this existed here. Well, I knew it was here. I just haven't been here in... Actually, yes, I have been here. When I was a kid, we came here and did family pictures here. Really? Yeah. That pond needs to be circulated. Yikes. That is a mosquito heaven. Now we know where all the mosquitoes have gone. Yeah, they're all here. Good thing we live on the other side of town. Man, they must get bad here. The mosquitoes actually haven't been that bad at all this year because it's been so dry. It hasn't rained at all, really. It's kind of weird. And here it sort of explains it a little more. For your health and safety, this pond here is for your health and safety, as you can tell, obviously. This is a man-made pond designed to help control flooding during rainstorms. Huh, if we ever had rain. Water quality cannot be guaranteed because the pond collects street runoff. Water levels can suddenly change without notice. For your safety, direct contact with this water is prohibited. I kind of want to go stick my finger in it now. No, don't tell Chevy. I'm in so much trouble. 